Hey, hello everybody, Disciple here with Hearthstone Curios. Having access to a lot of cards and sweet legendaries definitely makes it easier to do well on ladder, but there's no reason you should have to break your wallet to hit legend. One of the most common questions new or budget players ask is, what should I replace this card with, because I can't afford it? That's why today we thought we'd talk a little bit about how to figure out what to replace the expensive cards with in deck lists, as well as some of the more common examples of replacements. So let's get right into it. Let's start with what most players do, which is just replacing the cards they don't have with similar but worse overall cards. For example, a lot of players like to replace Leroy Jenkins with things like Argent Commander or Reckless Rocketeer, and others might substitute things like Cobalt Geomancer in for Blood Mage Thalnos. Now, sometimes this is a good way to go, but other times, just because a card is similar doesn't mean it's a good replacement at all. It really depends on the purpose of the deck altogether and what you're trying to accomplish. For example, if you're playing a Shaman deck with Spirit Claws, Maelstrom Portal, etc., you're definitely going to want the Geomancer because you really need spell damage. On the other hand, if you're playing Leroy in something like Pirate Warrior as a finisher, where it's not a combo piece but just a source of burst, you might want to consider something else entirely than just another charge minion. All of the cards in Pirate Warrior essentially do the same thing, which is try to kill the opponent as fast as possible, and the deck already does have a lot of burst damage. That's why instead of replacing Leroy with much worse cards like Argent Commander or Reckless Rocketeer, you could just fit in a card that's generally good in Pirate Warrior, depending on the version that you're playing. For example, if your list only runs a one of something like a South Sea Captain or Mortal Strike, you can put in another which is going to be much better than a worse version of Leroy, or if you don't run something like Acidic Swamp Ooze, you could put that in to try and beat the mirror. This brings us on our next way to substitute cards in, which is to put in another card that's just strong in the deck but doesn't accomplish the same thing as the card you're replacing. This method generally works a lot better, but it's really important that the card you're replacing isn't crucial to the overall game plan, and isn't in a critical spot on the curve, and isn't a part of any combo as well. For example, you wouldn't want to replace Blood Mage Thalnos with Doomhammer and Aggro Shaman, because you want to have a good 2-drop on curve, and the spell damage is pretty crucial to your game plan as well because of how many spells you have that are affected by it. Doomhammer is definitely a good card, but at that point you're sacrificing a little bit too much synergy and just putting in a good card in the deck. On the other hand, let's take a look at replacing something like Ragnaros in Reno Lock. Is Ragnaros a good card? Yeah, definitely, and it helps in the late game a lot, but you can easily replace it with another strong late game card, like Jaraxxus, or putting in the Leroy combo if you're not already running it, or pretty much any other late game finisher without really sacrificing too much from the deck. And if you're seeing a lot of aggro or are already winning control mirrors, you could even replace it with an early game card, since Ragnaros isn't entirely essential to your game plan, and you don't really need another 8 drop, you can pretty much put in anything that you want that'll help your deck win against the majority of decks that you're facing up against. Finally, there are some times when not having a card is just so bad for a deck that you just can't play it. This is really unfortunate and it kinda sucks for newer or budget players, but it's definitely an important situation to be able to recognize. These cards tend to be combo pieces like Kuhn and Aviana, late game finishers that are irreplaceable in the deck they're played in like Draxus used to be in Hamlock, or other types of cards that are just crucial to their decks like Ice Block and Freeze Mage, Edwin and Miracle Rogue, and many others. You can never really play a Murloc Paladin without anything can happen, and likewise there are a lot less obvious examples of decks that are just too hard to play without certain cards as well, and learning how to identify those and how to know when to just move on to another deck and try out a slightly less good version of it that you can afford to is very important to learning how to ladder. These are generally pretty easy to look out for, but they're definitely still important to know, because too often players will try to play Control Warrior without late game, or Freeze Mage without Alexstrasza, and be really disappointed. Finally, because this is probably the most asked question ever, yes, Patches the Pirate is still so insanely good to the point where it's probably not worth playing Aggro Shaman or Pirate Warrior until you can craft him, because it'll actually affect your win rate by quite a bit. So, those are some of our thoughts on card replacement. Now, I'm curious how you guys have been about replacing expensive legendaries or other cards that you can't afford. Are there any good replacements that you've discovered, or any good decks that you've found that are just cheap to build overall? Anyway, it looks like that's going to be it from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you want for more Hearthstone videos in the future. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.
Peace.